hi welcome back to my channel today i want to talk about worrying about what others think about us the greatest tragedy i think we we go through in life is worrying consistently about what other people think about what we are doing now this seems uh, trivial but it's one of the major problems that holds majority of people back in life it stops us from doing what we know we should do in our lives it stops us from being authentic it stops us from living a life that we majorly free of regrets at the end it makes us conform to external pressure it makes us conform to the expectations of people um, that don't even care about us or that don't really think about us. Now, the truth, what I've come to understand is that most people are not even thinking about you. The people that you feel um, worried about their opinions have their own personal lives to live. They have their own problems that they are trying to deal with every day they do not have the time to think about you um, more than just a passing glance of thought uh, yeah it's possible that they just see what you do and it could cross their mind once in a while but nobody will sit down and be thinking about you and what you're doing um, so i think it's um, a bit foolhardy to suppress your true emotions to suppress your true behavior just because you think that somebody is uh, is going to judge you or somebody is going to laugh at you or somebody is going to um, think that you're stupid so that's my that's my message for today and the way to deal with this problem you know is just to understand like i said earlier um, that nobody is really that bothered about you and to understand that what you're doing if you feel is going to make an impact um is more is is worthy of you to do it so that one person or two people can learn from what you're doing instead of worrying about the people that are not in, interested in what you're doing the world needs you to bring out your knowledge to tell us your experiences to share your hearts with people and if if you hold yourself back from doing this because you believe that somebody somewhere is thinking about you um, then you would have lived a life um, that's not commensurate with what you can do and i know that this thing has an old tradition it comes from a very long line you know of a very long generation of evolution so when we were born we had to do certain things that our parents wanted us to do so that we would be accepted by them um, when we went to school we had to conform to the rules and the regulations we had to we tried to be liked by our teachers and the people taking care of us when we were in school then when we become teenagers we are we are bombarded with expectations from our peers and society and people around us so we try to conform to to do things that will make us accepted within our peer groups and within our culture and when we start working we also conform again to the rules and regulations of the of our place of work and if you worship of your place of worship you don't want to be ostracized we want to be social socially accepted yeah but the people that make a difference in life are those that understand that these expectations that we have grown up to accept as normal are um are the things that are those are the limiting beliefs that we have 
about life. So most people suppress their true selves. They suppress their identity. Um, for example, you know, you feel it's strange to sing in public. In fact, most people are, don't even have the courage to listen to their own voice. Most people cannot make a sing, make a video and post it out and post it on social media, uh, even though it's not compulsory. But you, you, if, if if you want to do it, you know, you feel that resistance there. And it's those expectations that we have built up within us is, is in our nervous system now. Um, that's what keeps us back from doing those things that we know we should do. Um, a lot of people stay in failed relationships. A lot of people stay in failed marriages. A lot of people stay in abusive marriages too and relationships just because they are um, they are afraid of uh, of what the society what their friends, what their community would think about them if they leave um, their marriage. Uh, so this is an old problem and it's very predominant in society. Most people are going to, are facing this problem. I have faced this problem too, but now I've decided to just be myself and not worry about what anybody thinks about what i am doing i'm i'm more concerned now um, about following my heart i'm more concerned about being authentic i'm more concerned about living a life um, that i will be proud of at the end of the day i'm more concerned about saying about speaking about my life i'm more concerned about um setting my soul on fire i'm most i'm more concerned about uh, living a life you know that I f that is full um living a life of passion living a life that makes me happy just knowing that i'm doing the things that i had been um that i had been fighting against doing before so the the battle is in the mind the battle is in your own mind. Um, you need to reframe what you think about life. You need to reframe um, your philosophy, you know, of of existence. You need to reframe your life story. You need to reframe your perception of who you are and what you came to do. You need to listen to your inner voice and do what your soul is telling you to do you need to trust your intuition you need to trust what is happening around you and those are the tips i have for you today and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you bye